Why Jesus came into the world? Why we celebrate Christmas? Jesus came as a ransom for many. Mark 10 verse 45 says, The Son of Man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. He came as a ransom for many because we have sold ourselves into sin and have been isolated from Holy God. He came to save his people from their sins and the result was that we could be adopted into the family of God. We had run away and sold ourselves into slavery. But God pays a ransom and redeems us out of slavery into the Father's house. To do that, God's Son had to become a human being so that He could suffer and die in our place to pay the ransom. That is the meaning of Christmas. Hebrews 2.14 puts it like this, Since the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same nature that through death he might destroy him who has the power of death. In other words, the reason Christ took on human flesh was so that he could die and in dying pay a ransom and free us from the power of death. Jesus came to call sinners to repentance. Luke 5 verse 31 to 32 says this, Jesus said to them, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus came to call sinners to repentance. Repentance turns from sinful ways and looks towards Christ as He pays for our ransom. Repentance seeks to walk in holiness and not in old sinful ways. Jesus came to call sinners to repentance. First, there needed to be a ransom to be paid for sinners. Then, there could be a successful call to sinners. The call is based on the ransom. And Jesus says, He came for both of these things. He ransoms and He calls. Even today He is calling through the Bible and through the preaching of the Bible. That is the meaning of Christmas. He came to call sinners. Jesus came to give sight to morally blind. John 9 verse 39 says, Jesus said, For judgment I came into this world, that those who do not see may see. And John 12 verse 46 says, I have come as light into the world, that whoever believes in me might not remain in darkness. Jesus did not come to ransom and to call. He also came to open our eyes and to enlighten our hearts and minds to the spiritual realities so that we can see the light and walk in it to the glory of God's grace in Christ. Our problem is not just slavery needing a ransom and lostness needing a call, our problem is also moral blindness needing the gift of sight. This is why Christ came that those who do not see may see. This is the meaning of Christmas. Jesus came to save from divine condemnation. John 3 verse 17 to 18 says, For God sent not the Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already. God sent his Son to save us from his own justice, condemnation and wrath. The need for salvation implies that there is a danger we need to be saved from. That danger is sin and death and the devil. But the most serious danger of all is the danger of the condemnation of God. If God is for us, then sin and death and the devil will fail to destroy us. But if God is against us, then nothing can save us. Christmas, the coming of Jesus, is God's way of being for us if we will believe. He who believes is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already. He came to give us eternal life. John 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. As God is holy, just and righteous and loving. 
Jesus demonstrated the glory of God's unmerited undeserved grace and rich mercy. Jesus being raised from the death means death has no more power over him and those who believe in him. Christmas means that God sent his son so that we could believe and have eternal life in God's holy presence. We want to end this video by urging you to believe in Lord Jesus as God leads you to his son and to receive this gift of eternal life and set out in a life that magnifies God and riches of his grace as the giver of every good and perfect thing.